I'm from the Nebraska AIDS Project. This is my poem. Two weeks and six days. That's how long it's been since I felt the warmth of your skin against mine. It was snowy outside, so we both raced in to see who could get inside first. Your football training is no match against my weak legs and thick, heavy boots. I curse at you playfully because you leave me behind to maneuver the untouched snowy yard. By the time I reach the door, you're already half undressed, complaining about how hot it is. I follow you downstairs to your makeshift basement bedroom, leaving my snow boots to dry on the doormat. You're always two steps ahead of me and already have Netflix pulled up on your TV. Our new favorite show starts before I can get comfortable beside you. I gaze into your focused green-blue eyes and feel the same safety I found the first day we met. You catch me staring and smile, but quickly push me away. I'm home. Everything in me is calm and content. The upcoming court date doesn't cross my mind until, we, until the character is warned about jail. Jail. The last place I would expect you to end up. But something in the pit of my stomach tells me that this is our last night free together. I sob silently into your chest for what feels like hours as you stroke my back, asking what's wrong. I can't speak, but somehow you know that for the second night in a row, this is because of you. You assure me that it will be okay and that it won't be long before you're back home, but I know you're just trying to comfort me. I only ask a few people, I only told a few people about your run-ins with the law and their reaction is always the same. Are you sure you want to be with him? Is it really even worth it? People believe that felons are bad people. But I know you're not a bad person, love. You've always been the person who helps out with a big heart and a smile on your face. Your goofiness could make anyone laugh. But once again, you were dragged down the wrong path, made the wrong choice, were in the wrong place. We both know you are guilty, but no one warned you how hard it is to live as the puppet of the government. The system wants you to fail, so it controls your every move. Erased from our society, locked up, no more long nights of cuddles, no more television watching by your side. The soft, happy man is gone for now. Oh, yeah.